Welcome to the Rich Club channel. Please watch the video to the end and if you like it, support the channel with a like and subscribe. Let's go. In this video, you will learn why XRP will rise by another 400%. So before the video starts, write in the comments how much the XRP token will cost in a month. To the one who guesses, we will transfer 120 tokens. I remind you that at the moment one token costs $1.58. You also need to like and subscribe. Press the bell so you don't miss your profit in it again. Where to buy XRP? You can buy XRP on Binance and other reliable services, in which only my links give 5% cash back from trading commissions. I will leave the links in the description. Those who register via the link and conduct more all transactions will receive a separate reward. Per its earnings report, Ripple recorded a 97% increase in XRP sales for quarter 1. Despite the lawsuit of the SEC over XRP being a non-regulated security in the United States, Ripple's net sales went from $76.27 million in quarter 4 2020 to $150.34 million in quarter 1 of this year. The surge in XRP sales can be attributed to the growing demand for Ripple Nets on demand liquidity services, which leverages XRP as a bridge currency for cross-border transactions. Per Ripple's official statement, the increase in XRP sales can be attributed to deeper engagement from KODL customers. For well over a year, Ripple has not sold programmatically. Ripple's on-demand liquidity service enables users to bridge currencies using XRP, meaning that different currencies can be interchanged in a matter of 3 seconds. According to data from Santiman shared with Ripple, the number of XRP whales has also increased. The number of whales holding at least 10 million XRP increased from 308 to 319 in quarter 1 of 2021. XRP dropped below the 20-day EMA on May 4, but the bears could not sustain the lower levels. This shows the bulls are defending the 20-day EMA. The price has reached the downturn line where the bears are likely to mount a stiff resistance. If the price turns down from the downturn line, the bears will make one more attempt to sink the BNB USDT pair below the 20-day EMA. If they manage to do that, the pair could slide to the 50-day $1.05. On the contrary, if the bulls thrust the price above the downturn line, the up move may resume, and the bulls may try to push the price to $1.96. A breakout of this resistance will suggest the start of the next leg of the uptrend. XRP has picked bullish momentum in the 1-hour chart, with a 4.7% increase. Higher time frames seem equally bullish, with the weekly and monthly chart recording a 7.8% and 154% rally, respectively. XRP price performance has recovered since the start of 2021, when the token experienced a severe correction. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission lawsuit against Ripple Apps for the alleged illegal sale of a security took a toll on the market. Many exchange platforms expected the worst and delisted the token. Other Ripple deals also were negatively impacted, such as its cooperation with MoneyGram and payment corridors established with payment solution on demand liquidity. These corridors are used for foreign workers to send remittances back to their home countries and other use cases based on the token. Ripple's latest motion accuses the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission of acting against investor interest, the opposite of its mission to protect investors. The SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple in December of 2020, alleging the San Francisco startup sold XRP as an unregistered security for years. Ripple's lawyers are now filing a motion supporting several XRP holders who attempted to intervene in the case by arguing that the SEC caused the crypto asset to lose billions of dollars in value. Ripple's lawyers say the investors should be allowed to participate to an extent. As independent holders, developers, and users of XRP, with no relationship to defendants, they have strong and distinct interests in the regulatory status of XRP. Defendants support the named Moven's participation in the case. Although defendants oppose Moven's motion to intervene to represent a putative class, the court should permit them to participate as a missy with elevated rights, or as interveners with limited rights. As expected, the sex position with respect to the XRP holder's motion to intervene is very different from that of the defendants. The agency's memorandum of law went on to argue. The motion also blames the sec for massive losses. Merely by alleging its novel theory, the SEC imposed billions of dollars in immediate losses on third-party XRP holders, dried up XRP liquidity in the United States, and chill third parties from continuing to develop applications for XRP. The 21-page motion emphasizes that XRP holders are innocent retail holders with no connection to Ripple, who have already felt consequences from the SEC ill-advised jurisdictional overreach. Their desire to be heard is understandable and legitimate. In consequence, liquidity volumes on these platforms plummeted, but are showing signs of recovery. Monitor Liquidity Index Bot has registered a spike on this metric on three out of the four payment corridors, except for the one set between the then-token and Philippine Peso. 
The volume on this payment platform has stayed at relatively high levels, with a 1,032,894 traded in the last 24 hours. Not that far from its all-time high at 3,435,748 if the metric is placed next to the other corridors. On the back of Judge Annalisa Torres granting John Deaton's motion to intervene on behalf of XRP holders, the plaintiffs and the defendants in the ongoing case between the United States Second Ripple Labs and its execs were asked to file their responses by the 3rd of May. On the back of the defendants doing so, the regulatory agency has now filed its 33-page opposition paper to the same. Movens claim that, as secondary market XRP investors, they are somehow unnamed defendants, even though this particular action does not charge transactions between individuals in the secondary market, as violations of Section 5. Will Ripple and its execs in their own response to the aforementioned motion submitted that the Movens be allowed to participate as emissi or as interveners with limited participation rights, the SEC asserted, Movens should not be permitted to broaden the scope of the SEC's claims by intervening in this action in any capacity. Such interference, the SEC contended, is constitutionally and statutorily barred, with the agency adding that the same will also intrude on the executive branch's prosecutorial discretion. Curiously, in its opposition to the motion, the SEC also alleged that the Movens have essentially recited the defendant's litigation position. It added, Movens showed that their interests are not adequately protected by defendants, given that Movens' objectives are the same as defendants. This contention of the SEC is in direct contravention with what both the defendants and the interveners have claimed. While the latter had claimed that XRP holders cannot rely on the defendants' efforts in this case, the former parties in their own response to the said motion argued, as independent holders, developers, and users of XRP, with no relationship to defendants, they have strong and distinct interests in the regulatory status of XRP. This court's ruling may determine those interests at minimum, it will affect them. The SEC concluded its arguments by citing practical reasons, each of which it had only presented in its initial motion opposing the intervener's motion. According to the agency, and SEC enforcement action with thousands of individual investors intervening on both sides to advance legal and factual arguments the SEC and defendants are capable of making, would unnecessarily complicate this action, cause undue delay, require additional judicial resources, and prejudice the SEC efforts to enforce the federal securities laws. John Deaton representing XRP holders, collectively known as the Movens, now has until the 17th of May to respond to both the SEC and Ripple's contentions. According to the regulatory agency, all the Movens have done is restyled its withdrawn petition of mandamus, in the form of an instant motion for intervention against the SEC. According to data from Asset Dash, the market cap of Doge surged to $77.7 .7 billion on Tuesday, following a rally that took the price of the coin above 60 cents for the first time. This rally put the market cap of the project ahead of both cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase at $73.8 billion and Nintendo at $76.3 billion. How much will XRP cost at the end of 2021? Write your opinion in the comments, and do not forget about the likes.